Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today I have my uh, drill battery, which is completely dead. It doesn't charge anymore. So I have went ahead and uh, removed all the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need a special screwdriver to do this. So I have the screws right here. And the replacement is right here. So let's take it out. Let's lift it up. And we're gonna take the battery out. So we're gonna take this battery out. I'm gonna put on the one back in. So let's do that. This is the one I purchased. I purchased that from here on eBay, and it came all wrapped and built for me. Okay, so uh, to continue, I took the cover off and I put the new battery in and I made it compact, nice and tidy. Um, one thing I should have mentioned earlier, before you take the old battery out and put the new one in, you probably want to compare the height if both of them are equal before you do it. And the ones I have are currently 2400 milliamp hours. And that's something good to have. So, you know, to check that. You can find batteries. I bought it uh, from Hoffa uh, online on eBay. So you want to make sure exactly what you're buying. So I'm gonna put the cover back on with the new battery in place. Nice good fit right now. There. Okay, folks, got all the screws in this time. And uh, thanks for joining me today. And once again, you could save quite a bit of money instead of uh, buying a generic complete with the case. Save the case, buy the battery, replace it, and just put it in. That's all you need to do. Don't charge the batteries individually. You would have put it back in the case, then charge it as a unit. So make sure all your screws are tight. In my case, it is now. And there you go. You have your new battery, and you could charge it. Oh, okay. Just want to show one other thing. The battery, I just slipped it in, and actually it's charged. Come, works like a charm. Okay, thanks for joining me today. Hope the video was helpful, and see you next time. Bye.